today I want to talk about caregiver content creators that hide behind the fact that they're like spreading awareness of dementia, for example, or any disease in order to post whatever they want about the person with said disease, no matter how degrading it is. Like stuff that's just really unnecessary if your goal is just to spread awareness. So in all the clips that I'm going to show you today, the subject, it's like different accounts and different people. Everyone happens to have some sort of form of dementia. So I can't really give consent to this kind of stuff. And some of these accounts have hundreds of thousands of followers. And even if they could say, yes, post that, like, do they really get just how many people are actually seeing this? So this is the first video where I was like, okay, I have to say something. <laughs> so picture this video to the song, I had some help by Morgan Wallen and Post Malone. It's her mom who has dementia. Her mom is sitting on the toilet. She's out of frame. Like, Thank God, that's the bare minimum. And she's like, got her wipes and stuff. And then it cuts to her pushing her mom in the wheelchair. Her mom is holding like constipation medication. And then she's singing along, oh, I had some help. So many comments on this video are saying, hey, like this isn't a good look. I don't think your mom would like this. It's kind of embarrassing, degrading. But the videos are still there. The comments are still there. And that's when I was like, okay, like how is that spreading awareness? She was saying like, yeah, you gotta laugh about it. It happens to everyone, blah, blah, blah. But it's like it's not your situation to laugh at. This is at the expense of your mom. Laugh about it with your family, but this is not your situation to laugh about publicly. I've seen tons of videos talking about people's like their bowel activity, their accidents, uh, nudity, way beyond overexposed, zero privacy. Like this one, here's an example. It's just sloppy. Is there a reason why your pants just happen to be down? Yeah, they came down. Could you fix that please? Because I know you're in your room, but you have no doors. So we see that. We don't want to see that. Okay, you could go to sleep with baby, but you need to either put the blanket on or pull your pants up. Nobody needs to walk by and see a tushy out. So her mom's laying there in her bed with her pants down and her first instinct is to film her. Not help her. Yes, she did cover it up with a sticker, I guess. But later in the video, she moves the camera. The sticker stays in place so you can see everything. And like, yeah, that's obviously not intentional, but it's so careless. When you're constantly posting other people, like her mom is the, the star of her page. Like you have to be so careful to not expose them like that. That's just not okay. And why are there so many videos like this? Why can I easily go to her page and just find tons of these? In this next one, her mom has attempted to get dressed, but her belly's hanging out and her behind's hanging out. You did a really nice job dressing yourself, but I don't think that fits. But I want you to go in your room and find different shorts, okay? And different shirts, they seem to be <laughs> your tushy's hanging out. I think you forgot your panties. Okay, give me a sec, yeah. Again, she covers it with the sticker, but it just cuts off at the end. And it's posted and it's still there. And she keeps taking her shirt off, so I just told her I'm gonna have to get her tight clothes where she can't take them off. That one seems pretty intentional. It's just a straight shot of her from behind with no shirt on. Just like how degrading. Speaking of degrading, on our way to the potty. Good morning to us. Pull them over your butt first, mom. They'll go up. You could do it. So when her mom comes out of the bathroom, her pants aren't fully pulled up. Just help her pull them up. Like, how is this dementia awareness? Okay, this video could straight up be a satire video. It's one of those like TikTok dancing to your trauma, sad moments videos. So just imagine this playing out. Okay, mom, go stand over there. Do a little dance, shake your hand, and I'm gonna film you. And then she's editing the video and she says, I lose my bowels. Yep, looks good. What? That is like insane. So before anyone comes into my comment section and they're like, oh, but it's important to share everything, even the bad moments, like, no, that is just an invasion of privacy. This is not helping anyone. Showing anything is questionable in my opinion, but then to go this far, can we just let these people keep a shred of dignity in their final years? And it gets worse. Well, maybe not worse, but it gets like more equally bad. I have seen like way too many videos of people, caregivers, antagonizing said person with dementia just to get a reaction to post. Because those videos do the best, they get millions of views, millions of likes. This one has over a million likes. It starts with the daughter saying, what? What'd you say? I'm what? Like, I gotta get that on camera. Can you just say it again? I am what? What'd you call me? What you are. You're an ass. Okay, hand me the fork before you hurt yourself. No, I'm not gonna hurt myself. I'd rather stab you with this thing. It works. Like 1.1 million likes. So there's obviously money to be made here. Like these videos go viral. I'm gonna kill you. Give me that thing. What? That you're trying to kill me with that rake right there. My phone? Uh-huh. Oh. You 
you sick. Oh you know, no. Stupid is more than sick. You be nice. I had been nice to you for years. Like she's obviously so irritated and you're laughing and you're filming her. I get that it can be funny to like see your grandma say crazy stuff. Like it's obviously really sad too, but I'm sure it can be hard not to laugh sometimes when your grandma who you used to being like this sweet, nice lady is saying all this stuff. But then to like encourage it and antagonize and film it and just up in the face with the camera, it just feels kind of icky. And then I found this other lady. Most of her videos are just straight up arguing with her nana. She has tons of videos where she's like trying to get Anna to take a shower and she knows she's gonna be mad so she's filming her because that's when Nana's most annoyed because she doesn't like showering so that's like great content. Get on your knees! Nana. Get on your knees! You just have to go into the bathroom and take a shower. I've already took one. I haven't taken one in a whole month now. Oh no, don't get me. Did you see how she's coming at her with the walker? If Nana is coming at you with the walker, just put the phone down. Do your little video later. Where? I'm not telling you. Why? What do you think I'm a st stupid person? If you're filming close enough where she can like hit the phone out of your hands, I do think you deserve a little like tap tap. And a lot of these content creators are posting every day. So it seems like from the outside, they must just be waiting every day to get a good reaction to something. Waiting for them to like go off. You're mad? Why? Because you pissed me off. I didn't do anything. I can't go anywhere. People can't go anywhere. Oh, you're mad? Why are you mad? It wouldn't be because I'm following you and filming you while you're angry and making it worse. Like, if your Nana didn't have dementia, would you do this? Would you follow her with the camera while she's mad and like ask her why she's mad and then post that? You probably wouldn't. They're still human. Just because they have dementia doesn't mean they're like your little video prop. I'm just gonna like rapid fire these next few videos because I want you to see like just how often she's filming this and engaging with this and like egging her on. And I don't need to speak about everyone because I'm sure you get my feelings on it by now. <laughs> And We're I'm gonna going go out by myself. Oh, you can't be by yourself. You need someone with you. Don't hit me, Nana. 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 Yeah, you're being you're being mean, Nana. What's mean about putting shoes on your feet? Nothing. That's good. But you were just calling me names. Hey, get out of my house. I live here. Yeah. Well, you're gonna get kicked out. Nana, I take care of you. Yeah, you're not taking care of anybody. Why are you saying that? Big pimples on the cheeks. I don't have pimples. Yeah. <laughs> You go keep keep it up. In your medication? Yes, I am. Now get out of my face. Jesus Christ. I have to put that in the sink. You can't All carry right, it. Put it in the sink so you, you have to use your walker. Extra. You have to use your walker. I mean, I gotta pay for everybody, huh? You don't pay for anyone. This one's gonna have a bubble on her, you know what. Come on, then. Come on, Ned. You phony. Okay, will you, will you come in the bathroom with me? No, I don't go anywhere with you. We're gonna take a quick shower. So see what I mean? That's just like a small percentage of the videos from her page. This next video has 10 million views. Grandma with dementia scratched her grandson while he's driving the car. And then, so I guess they like pull over and just yell at her, as you do. She scratched the f*** out of me. He didn't mess with you, Mom. He's trying to drive the car. This is bad. As he's driving. That's not cool, Mom. Look, it's f***ing bleeding. I see. What do you say to him? Happy I did it. Mom, you could have killed us all. He's driving. You can't stick your nails in him like that. Well, then he shouldn't f with me. He's not, he's driving the car. He's not messing with you. He's driving a vehicle. Yelling at her mom, she's filming her. Mom obviously has no idea what's going on. Like, I'm no doctor, but I feel like that's not the way to go. Here's another video from the same people. Same idea. Two words. Yeah. Um, yeah. sorry. No. Sorry. That's not a word. <laughs> no bad words. Um, sorry. Get out of my room. I'm not going to say it. Just, just say two words, Mom. Um, sorry. Two words. <coughs> but I'm not, so I'm not going to say it. Just say She doesn't want to say it to me. Two words. Um, sorry. I'm not, so get out. <laughs> Come on. I thought you were going to apologize it's now. It's not nice to hit people, Grandma. It's not nice to kick people in their heads. Hey, she tried to hey, me again. look at me. Look at me. Not nice. Get the f out. All right, walk out then. Out respect here. her space. But you need to say you're sorry. She needs to respect me. You don't kick she's people. Sorry, maybe. Two words. Um, sorry. Respect her space. But keep the phone in front of her with the flashlight on. Like, how intimidating is that? There's three against one. They're all coming at her. This would make anyone get more and more irritated. And she's escaping <laughs> Look, look at you! It's a 
Again, I love a good phone knocked to the ground. Why do you not take that as like, okay, maybe I should just back off for a bit. <laughs> okay, this next video really bothered me because the instigating is like incessant. Before I play it, the caption says, well, here says, let me know if you want more of these. I got 10,000 more. So imagine her doing this like 10,000 times. Oh, what did you just say? You're a fucking pig. <laughs> how am I a pig? Explain how I'm pig, grandma, because I- <laughs> So that's like the granddaughter. So obviously they see their mom filming grandma all the time. They're going to do the same thing and think it's okay and hilarious. But yeah, don't worry. It's just, uh, you know, spreading awareness. <laughs> mom, I don't want to get a school shut that light off. Guess what? Guess what? Today's the party. Imagine waking up every morning with the camera in your face because you are the star of the dementia vlogs. The phone, six inches from your face. The flashlight, max brightness. The TikToks are rolling and you haven't even opened your eyes yet. This one page just has like hundreds of clips of her mom starting her day like this or napping on the couch with the phone in her face. She's sleeping, she's being woken up for the TikTok, getting startled, like what an awful way to start your day. And then it wouldn't be an exploitative TikTok page without the sad views. In this next video, grandma's just sitting in here crying while getting her hair done. Hi, you guys. It's okay, honey. Do you? Yeah, we just got out of the shower and now we're gonna blow dry her hair. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> it's okay. It is, it is, it is, honey. It is, honey. I can't even show this, but it's so sad. It's heartbreaking. The girl even cringes to like acknowledge this is awful. And this one, grandma is anxious. She's scared. She's trying to get out of the car. So obviously, what a great opportunity to film. Let me take the car. I can't. Nan, Nan, calm down. It's She's not trying to escape out. the car. And He's thank goodness me and uh, cloud locked the back seat. Oh my goodness. Calm down, honey. Everything's fine. Ma you think so? Yeah. For you, maybe, but nobody's helping with anything. Can you smell? People always argue, oh, it's important for them to show this for like awareness. How many times have I said awareness today? There's not any education here. It's just like exposing the vulnerable moment. You can definitely talk about it from your perspective. Like, oh, grandma's feeling anxious today. I said this to try and help, or this didn't work. I should have done this. None of those options should include filming it for TikTok. Okay, this video was a hard watch. Pause through the captions. Hopefully I can make it big enough. So she's telling her mom that her sister has passed away. Hey mom, can you come sit here a minute? I got something to talk about. Do you know who this is? So the reason I asked you to sit down is because I got to tell you something, okay? So your sister went to heaven. So we're going to go hang out with the family today. Mm -hmm. I think said she was i had to cut so much of it out because it was such a long video she recognizes in the caption that she might get hate for this yet she still does it so i guess that's not recognizing that it's wrong to do but just recognizing that people will hate it she doesn't know if she should have taped it tape it sure but just keep it private since everyone has been so invested in mom's journey i just decided to share that's an awful reason to share <laughs> You don't owe a TikTok audience anything about your mom just because they've been so invested in what you've been posting so far. Is it too personal to share? I feel awful. So don't share it then. If you're having these thoughts, oh, maybe I shouldn't post this, too personal, just don't because it's not about you. But the comments are so overwhelmingly supportive on this one, so she's just gonna keep on doing it. I do understand the sense of community that social media can provide for people in situations that you probably feel like you're alone in, like being a caregiver full-time for a family member it's heartbreaking to watch your family member go through that it's probably very isolating because you're dedicating a lot of your time it's unlikely that there's a lot of other people in your life going through the same thing to relate to social media can be good to connect with others in that sense you can relate to each other you can cry together you can laugh together but not at the expense of someone else Everything that I've shown here today is so not necessary to build a community or spread awareness. Everything I've shown today is just way too far in my opinion. Let me know what you think. I would like to see just less of this. And if you do see something, say something. You might get blocked by people, but at least the more people to start to say like, hey, maybe this shouldn't be posted, the less we see of it. Anyway, that's it. Bye.